friend along. In today's Manly Minute, Ken has five tips for camping with your pup. That's right. Today's uh, National Take Your Dog to Work Day. How about taking your dog out camping? What are some things you should be aware of? Because I don't know if you noticed, these dogs are different than humans, and you got to take care of them in a different manner. Here are five tips for camping with your dog. Number one, mm -hmm. training. Training is so important. If your dog's not trained to follow commands like stop, whoa, come back, things like that, you're going to have a hard time with your dog. The point is there are areas that could be rather precarious, and if you can't control your dog in that manner, that means they're not mature enough to be out there camping or hiking. That means you need to keep them at home. Number two, Physical capabilities. Think about what your dog can do. Big dogs like this are perfect for hiking and going out on long walks and going uh, backpacking and going camping. Small dogs can't handle this. So don't take a small dog out for a long hike or going camping. That's not really suitable for them. They're better for being in a backpack, a nice little roll out there on the trail, and that's about it. But be, be aware of your dog's physical, physical capabilities. Number three, aggression. If your dog is aggressive, that's going to be really bad out there in the wilderness. First thing, if you're camping overnight, Usually there's a lake separating campsites. If that dog is barking all night, that carries over water. It's louder than you can possibly imagine. You're disturbing everyone around you in the campground. If your dog can't be quiet or has aggressive behavior, you can't take him out camping with you. Number four. Trail etiquette. It's very important. You're out walking with your dog on the trail. There are going to be hikers and campers, backpackers coming in the opposite direction. This is the important thing here. If you come across individuals like that and your dog is kind of moving around, don't tell them, oh, he's friendly. My dog is friendly. Nobody wants to hear that. But say to them, he's under control. That's what they want to hear because a big dog can knock a backpacker or a camper over and that could hurt them and be obviously embarrassing and annoy them. So make sure your dog is under control, not friendly, under control. And the last thing, take care of your dog. Think about dog first aid. When you're out there and you're walking around, the number one thing that can get hurt on dogs is little paw pads. Those are sensitive underneath there. They can get thorns in there and rocks. And if you come to a particular point of camping, your dog is apprehensive, that means the dog knows that might be unsafe for them. Your dog's smarter than you are. Listen to him sometimes. <laughs> Those are five things to think about and really think about if you're going to go camping with your dog. There are more rules to think about. Go to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on show info for today's date. Man up or enjoying the great outdoors with your dog. Also, coming up today, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but uh, we're going to do radio today <laughs> I went, uh, on wonder, the yeah. KHCK Sports 1140. Uh, from 12 to 3, it's the lowdown with myself, Damian Barling, and Jason Ross. We might talk basketball. We'll see how we feel. When you see the national media say, what are the Kings thinking on draft day? <laughs>